My name's John and I'm a human doing. And what am I doing today? I'm making a pizza peel. I like to make pizza. There's a lot of family members that I have uh, that also like to make pizza, but they don't have their own pizza peel. I've made a bunch of these in the past and uh, this time around I made two more. I'm giving them out as Christmas gifts. So um, yeah, if you like to make pizza, you don't have a pizza peel, it's a great way to use up some of the scrap material you might have in your shop, which is what I'm using, just scrap from previous projects. And here's how I did it. And here's a quick look at what the pizza peel looks like when it was finished. Uh, I think every time I make them, they look a little different based on what scrap material I have, but uh, the basics are all pretty much the same. And this is sort of the scrap pile you can see. And it's, uh, normally I would use any small pieces like that. I mean, oftentimes I would just use them to burn, but I, I try to find projects wherever I can. And in this case, it's pizza peels. So I'm just cutting everything to a, a rough length. And then I need to work out if I have enough material to make at least two. In this case, I made two pizza peels. Sometimes you'll make more. But um, I had enough for two in this case, which is, you can see here, it's actually not quite enough for two. So what I had to do is uh, cut the strips down. I'm just cutting them to, the, to a rough width. And then I'll also cut them in half to double my yield. Because the pizza peels are going to be about three-eighths of an inch thick when they're done. Maybe, you know, as thin as a quarter inch. But uh, these pieces here are all three quarter inch to one inch rough, rough material. So I'm cutting them in half. Again, I'm just using, I think it's about an inch and a half, inch and a quarter width. And I'm just doing that consistently so that they're, they're you know, the same width just for aesthetics. And then I take those pieces and I cut them in half. So I double my yield. But because they're, they're thin, the, the peel itself is thin because you want to be able to slide under the pizza. You can just cut them in half and double your yield. So this is what I ended up with after the pieces were cut to width and thickness. Just again, rough thickness, roughly a half an inch thick these pieces are. So I'm just double checking that I have enough to make two peels. So there you see about 27 inches. So I will probably make a peel here that's about, I think two of them are about 13 inches wide each. And most of the pizzas that I'm making are about 12 inches wide. So um, like a, sort of a small or personal size pizza is generally what I make. And I guess these are gifts, so hopefully that's what my, the people who are getting them are making them as well, hopefully. Uh, so you can see me drawing on the grain here. What I'm trying to do is to de determine the orientation of the grain so that when I glue this panel up, uh, over time, it doesn't warp. Now, it, it may still bow a little bit over time, but you want to minimize that as much as you can. So what you're trying to do is to have one piece that's a cup up or happy face and then sad face. So cup up, cup down. And that just allows the board to uh, stay more or less flat uh, over its lifespan. If you don't do that, if you put them all in the same orientation, then it ends up cupping. You can see I drew like a little teepee. And that's just so that I can make sure that I'm putting it back together in the right way. I don't want to put uh, the wrong side down because then again, I'm putting the orientation in the wrong way. So I just, I'm just using standard wood glue. Uh, I think it's a little page. But again, I'm just brushing it on. I'm probably a little more, uh, a little more glue on this than I need, but um, yeah, so I'm just gluing it up, then I'll put the panel back in the orientation that it was with that drawing, and then all I have to do is, uh, I give it about 45 minutes to dry, so you'll see me putting it back down, but I make sure that I'm putting it down in the same orientation that it was before, so that the grain direction is still the same, like the cup, the happy face, sad face. And maybe one other thing to note, because the uh, the pieces are all slightly different thickness, when I'm checking, after I, I squeeze this together with the clamps, I'm, I'm really only checking the bottom side to make sure that all the pieces are, are even with each other. So I don't want, the top side is going to be uneven because some pieces are thicker than the other, but I just make sure, you can see me doing that there, just to make sure that the bottoms are relatively uh, even. So that really when I put it in the planer, which is going to be uh, coming up next, I don't have to do as much work and I don't have to worry about joining. I mean, it's just throw it in the planer and it should be a, a more or less flat, true panel. And the clamp that I'm putting here on top, so I'm using three clamps for this panel. Uh, and I put one on the opposite side because I want to try to make sure the pressure is even. Because if you only put pressure on the bottom if you're when you're clamping, oftentimes you, you know, the, the board itself may want to cup again. So you just, you know, even the pressure out, put the clamps on both sides. So after I give it, again, I give it a 45 minutes to an hour. I give it a quick scrape. And all I'm doing there is just, um, 
you know, getting rid of any excess glue because all it will do is gum up my, uh, my planer blades. So just clean up the glue a little bit. Give it time to dry. Don't wipe your glue off until the glue is somewhat dry like this because you'll end up getting a, a sunken glue joint, which you don't want. So with a few runs through the planer, this uh, panel, it, again, it's a, I believe I'm just a, a hair over a quarter inch when I was finished, which uh, that's pretty common for me when I'm making these pizza peels. So I find it's thin enough that it's, uh, you know, you can slide it under pizza, but it's not so thick that, I mean, you're trying to shove a two by four underneath the pizza, which is uh, a little trickier. So I'd say all in all, I had about 10 passes, which seems like a lot. I mean, I'm not taking that much off your time. I mean, this isn't an industrial planer by any means, but it's, um, yeah, it doesn't take much time. And you can see the finished panel, nice and smooth. It's almost ready for pizza. Ooh. But I gotta make sure that I'm cutting these things square. So I'm just using a uh, table saw sled. You can use, you know, um, if you just have a circular saw or something, you could use that. But uh, I have a sled here with a table saw. So I'm making sure that the panels are nice and square on the ends. And then one side, I, want to, I like to do a rounded edge on one side. In this case, I did them both, but I just did one heavier radius or one tighter radius and one uh, slightly, you know, uh, on the back side, there'll be a, a slightly different radius. That's more for cosmetics. Uh, this, I find um, the easiest way for me to do this is to use this, uh, you know, I'll be honest, I don't even know what I call them. I just have a stick with a string on it. <laughs> and I just make up a radius. I don't know what the radius is because, again, this is... Um, I think it does have an effect on the pizza. It helps you get it under it a little bit more, more easily. But I don't look for a specific radius. I'm just looking at cosmetics, and, you know, what, what looks nice. So I take it on the bandsaw and clean it off. And then when I'm finished here, I'll take it over to uh, my sander and just give it a quick touch-up. I mean, the, the, the bandsaw does a pretty good job of, of getting you pretty close. And this just makes it a nice smooth edge so that I can begin rounding over, which you can see here, just a small round over bit. And this is mostly, uh, you could just use sandpaper and a block, uh, but I wanted something with a slightly larger radius. This is, uh, I think it's an eighth inch round over bit. But um, I'm doing this and it's mostly so you, when you're touching it, because obviously with a pizza pill, you're handling a lot with your hands. So you don't want any splinters. So I'm just going over the whole thing, rounding over the edges just to make it nice and safe to handle. And I'm doing both sides. So again, a nice round over all the way around the panel. Although well, one thing that is a little bit different about the front side, which you're gonna see shortly, is I put a, a really kind of um, a heavy round over on the very front edge. So you can see just the, the nice light round edge and you can see your hands. I mean, it's, it's nice in your hands so you don't have to worry about splinters. But as I mentioned, the very front of the, the pizza peel, I take a, a much heavier radius on the front. And I don't have a router bit that will do that. I mean, I'm, I know they exist. But in this case, I just, you know, I just grunt it through. I just take my, my sander with some 40 grit sandpaper and I just sort of take a big chunk off the, uh, off the front edge. And again, that allows you to slide under the pizzas more easily. And there's no, there's no specific radius I'm looking for. I just want it to, to, to go down as thin as I can, within reason, and uh, have it be smooth to the to, to my hands. So it's there's nothing specific I'm trying to do. I'm not looking for for a specific radius. I'm just trying to make it so it's nice and the pizza slides underneath, uh, nice and easily. And once I was happy with the sander work that I was doing, just to sort of round over that front edge, I went over it with just a block sander really quick just to make sure that uh, there was nothing sharp and that I got the, the contour that I was looking for. You can see here, it's again, it's just the very, very front nose. I'm just kind of taking it out just enough to make it easier to slide underneath, uh, underneath the pizza. Now that tape you can see around there, what I'm doing is attaching the handle, but I put the tape on it so that it's easier for me to, to keep the glue off of the panel, which means it's, it's easier to clean because it's easier to clean glue that you don't have to clean versus trying to clean it up later. I mean, a wet rag will usually do a pretty good job with wood glue, but the less I have to clean, the better. So you can see there's a little bit of squeeze out there and uh, peeling the tape off just makes it that much easier to clean and it really doesn't add any work. Um, now I didn't need to put screws into the handle here that you can see I'm putting them in and then I'm gonna countersink right here. I don't have to put the screws in. I think the glue is more than enough, but I figure for a little added security, I mean, if somebody starts flinging this thing around, you know, 
and uh, they get all excited. I figure a mechanical fastener is, uh, isn't a bad idea. And I mean, they're just stainless steel screws, so they don't really add any, any you know, real heavy cost or anything to this. So you can see with it attached. And what I'm covering it with is varnish oil, you can see here. Now, I'm trying to show you the label, but this is a completely food safe product. And you wanna make sure whatever you cover it with, whether it's this, um, you know, a mineral oil, beeswax, whatever, you wanna make sure you're using a food safe uh, finishing product, because obviously, you know, this is a, a, a piece that's it's a working piece. So this, this is something you're actually gonna be using. And uh, you wanna make sure it's, it's safe that you're, you know, you're putting food on here. You want to make sure you can consume it. And that is a finished pizza peel. All right, that's how I make a pizza peel. At least how I made them this time around. I made two. They took less than an hour to make for the pair. So it doesn't take a lot of time. It uses up some scrap material that would have otherwise uh, been used for kindling in our fire. So I think I put better use to it this time around. So again, like, subscribe, ask any questions you have down below. And I'll, uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.